Ephesians 6 12. Whether you like it or not, as Christians, we are in a fight. We have the responsibility to fight for our loved ones, our nation, and for the future generations. Jesus is our champion. He's already disarmed Satan on the cross. Eternal salvation. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, should've seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger. In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling, six time failing. I went back to prison, got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to get back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never. What's up guys, my name is JC, I am Ron Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, mi familia, mi raza, you already know what time it is. Suerte la suburban, because we're about to go see Jesus. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Ron Strong. JC here, your host. You know what time it is. It is all in your name, all in your glory. Thank you Jesus for what you did on the cross for me. Thank you. We live in a fallen, world as the days become darker and wicked we must be bold and courageous we have a responsibility to fight we have been given the authority over the enemy for a reason ronald reagan said evil is powerless when the righteous is unafraid yes and i've said this before you can't be afraid you have god you already won two weeks prior to me dropping to my knees i knew i was tired i was broken i just couldn't take no more and it was all inside everything else was fine my career was fine youtube was making money my personal training clients everything was fine my relationship with bethany was very bad I have to share a story with you guys that I guess for non-believers they're gonna find it a little weird and they're not gonna understand it but for believers believers understand that it's a spiritual fight it's not it's not flesh and bone two weeks prior to me dropping to my knees I was ready to throw in the towel and when I when I say uh, falling apart I mean my heart the way I felt it had already taken a toll on me not sleeping that night um, you know, running around, my anger, punching the holes in the wall. <laughs> I mean, the distrust with Bethany. She was tired, she was done. She was ready to, to check out. I was ready to check out. I, I was sticking in my head that, you know, I was gonna just be single again and, you know, hit the gym again and start living the way that I used to live. I, I was determined. And then that day, I don't know why, I just got up and I was like, you know what? I, I, want, I want to go to church today. And you know, Bethany's always backed me up when it's come to church. So she's like, let's go, where do you want to go? And there was a small church that I used to attend when I was at the Federal Halfway House. It's called Fire and Water. My dad used to go there. It's in Phoenix. It's on Roosevelt and 14th Street, I think. We started driving there. And I remember everything like it was yesterday because we were we were jamming out to Christian music and I was crying and I, I really I really wanted some hope. I really I was seeking it like I wanted it like I, I was tired. I was tired of, of feeling the way that I was feeling in my heart. The pain and all this stuff that I felt, the distrust, the, the just the nasty thoughts in my head and there was like over 30 holes 
punched through the through the walls in my house. Like Beth was like, she was done. We started getting closer to the exit and we hear a souped up car pull up next to us. It was all blacked out Camaro with red trimming. And you could hear that I was souped up. They had to spend some money on the boat. So I try to speed up because you, you have to get off on McDowell to go to the church. And he, spe he sped up too. I slow down. He would, he slowed down. I speed up again. He went faster. And, and it just stayed back and forth for a little bit. Finally, I just hit my brakes and he just took off. You could hear the motor. You seen the pipes lit up. The license plate said Lucifer on it. Yes, the battle is with spiritual forces of wickedness. Yes, you might not think so, but it is. And I think that's one of the biggest lies he's told us. If we fight this war using our own strength, we will be down for the count in a few seconds like I was for my whole life. 43 years I lived with pain, doubt, just all kinds of really bad stuff in my heart, in my mind, just really bad stuff. Today, I know that he has no power over me. I know that Satan was defeated at the cross. I know that my Lord and Savior is Jesus Christ. So put on the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, the full armor of God. Man, that's pretty intense. I like that. So, so get so get get so get dressed. Step up to the line with me. We're about to walk into the dark trenches with some light. Pick up your Bible, study it, listen to it. Walk it, talk it, hang out with other fellow Christians, fellowship, find a church, get a mentor. I guarantee you, your life will change. I had never experienced what I'm experiencing today. The hope, the joy, the self-control. My heart was completely transformed when I gave my life to Christ. I became a new Julio. The one that I was supposed to be my whole life. Not the one that the enemy made me believe that I was supposed to be. The reason why I do these videos, the reason why I, I share this message is because I want you to have what I have. What was given to me for free. I just want to show you guys. My name is JC. I am wrong and strong. Hey, don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage. And remember, it's okay to cry. I'll catch you guys with the rebound.